Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for September 2023. I hope you all are fine. I am going to take a second here to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Virgo out there. If not, you can check your other signs and placements and see if those readings resonate better. Um, also bear in mind that the uh, information in a monthly reading is a bit predictive in nature. So if these events are not occurring currently, they could occur in the next few weeks. Spirit, what would you like Virgo to know for the month of September? That's a little much. September, thank you. All right, Virgo, you're starting out with temperance. Let's see what's crossing that. And it is crossed by the Ten of Pentacles. You're being very patient. You're patiently um, working on something that's very long-term. This could be about your money or it could be something to do with a long-standing um, connection. Or you're just thinking long-term. Let's see your past. In the past, we have the Seven of Cups. You've had options. You've had options. There's been something that's been a bit confusing. This is all happening here because of the Knave of Wands. So there's something here that is new that's beginning. It's a, it's something that you're passionate about. It's new and beginning. You're thinking long term about it and you're being very patient as well. Now in your thoughts, we have the Five of Cups in the reverse happening in September. We have the Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so what you're thinking about is love. You've gone through something here that may have been, it may have crumbled. Um, you're thinking about the past. You're looking at the past. You've learned from it. Um, some of you haven't quite moved on from that. You're healing from something here. Um, but it's like there's been something that occurred, and it looks like it has to do with love for most of you. Or partnership. It could be a partnership of some sort as well. But it crumbled. And you think about it. You're trying to learn those pe those lessons from the past. I do think that you are looking at something long term. It's something new. For some of you, this could even be a pregnancy. In the past, there has been confusion though. And you had options. You were looking at the different options. Patiently choosing what it is that you needed to do. Now, in the month of September... You have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So that does speak of something that is not balanced. There's a lack of balance. Now let's see how you're showing up. Show me how Virgo is showing up. Queen of Cups, your heart is open. Yeah, that's really good energy. Your heart is open. You're open to love. You're looking at love, but you're being selective. Let's see the energy coming towards you. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. Okay, be careful here, Virgo, because um, I, especially in this deck, I don't particularly like the Queen of Wands in the reverse. This speaks to jealousy. This speaks to um, somebody looking at you in a very jealous uh, way. I'm also seeing that this person has some dark thoughts, especially if there's a pregnancy involved. Um, in this particular deck, the Queen of Wands is in an early pregnancy, and it's in the reverse. So somebody's not happy if you are pregnant. There's there's jealousy here about that. Now, I know that's only for a few of you, so we'll definitely clarify that. Let's see what Spirit's advice is. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords, or I'm sorry, the... Uh, Knave of Swords. So Spirit is saying, really look at this situation. There's, um, you have to study something here. There's something that you don't know or something that you need to learn, but you're being guided to look at this situation to figure something out. Let's see your outcome. There's also something here about balance. You're, there's something about needing to, to study something in order to create balance. Now, remember, there's a lack of balance in September that you're headed into. Your outcome at the end of the month is a strength card in the reverse. So, there's something to do with fear. All right? Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, though, is the sun. 
Now, I like that energy. Um, this is underlying energy, and that does indicate happiness. The sun is known as one of the happy, happiest cards in the deck. And it also, in this particular deck, it does show that you are being very independent as far as finding your happiness. It's almost like uh, I'm hearing cloud nine, that you're on cloud nine. So something is making you very happy here. So let's, uh, let's clarify this. Spirit, why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Okay, so you are attempting to bring balance into your life. You're doing that through healing, and you're being very patient here. Let's see what, what's crossing. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? For some of you, you're working at, um, towards your money or your financial goals, and it seems like um, somebody here is being very generous with you. The star, that's nice, nice energy, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so you're hopeful. You're very hopeful about the future. You're hopeful about long term. And you are really struggling here to bring balance in after a period of confusion. You may be juggling a lot. Some of you could be um, financially working towards increasing your finances or saving money. Some of you may be juggling your money right now. But um, I do see somebody being very generous with you as well. Let's look at the past. Is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Ah, the King of Pentacles. Interesting. So I am seeing a lot about money here for you, Virgo. I do feel like you've been working very hard at your finances. And I'm also seeing that in the past, you have felt very powerful, even, um, either with regard to finances or with regard to a particular connection. This connection brought, brought you into a state of feeling very powerful, very committed. This is a, a committed energy. So this is what, what is bringing in the balance. You're being very patient about this. I am seeing that you're trying to balance things out. You, you have a lot of hope in this situation. This does look like it's something that is fairly new. Let's see. Um, why is all this happening? All right. We have the seven of wands in the reverse. You may have had to stand your ground in the past with this new connection or this new endeavor that you're you're embarking on. But I feel like you're kind of um, backing down. I also feel like, Virgo, somebody gave you advice, perhaps, with regard to whatever this situation is. Now, for some of you, it's about money, but, but for others, this has to do with a relationship. It would be a new relationship or, let's say, a newer relationship. Something that is growing that you want to be long-term, whether it's money or whether it's relationship. Um, I am seeing that you are considering yourself to be something of a unicorn in this situation or the other person. You, you consider this other person to be a unicorn. I do feel that somebody has tried to um, oppose this connection or this endeavor and you're just absolutely not listening to whatever that is. And this is really why all this is happening. So this has to do with a connection or a new endeavor. Now let's see what's on your mind. I do feel like you've learned some, some lessons in the past, um, either through love or through partnership. Knight of Swords reversed. <laughs> you're thinking that you need to keep keep quiet about something. You're trying to avoid an argument here. You've learned from the past not to say something here, to kind of keep things to yourself. Interesting. But there's something you want to say. You're just not saying it. Let's look at September. Show me September for Virgo. There could be somebody here that you're no longer speaking to, that you have a history with. Um, and that history, it's like things kind of fell apart. It, things crumbled. Um, it may have been painful. You may have gone through a period of possibly depression or sadness. Um, but I do feel like you've moved on from that. 
And you're now taking those lessons into this new partnership, this new endeavor, um, or this new relationship. All right, so let's see what we have here. All right, we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Chariot. We have the Five of Pentacles reversed. Page of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Cups. King of Wands reversed. Four of Coins and the Ace of Wands. Wow. All right. So, this makes more sense to me. You enter into the month here, Virgo, not having everything completely balanced out. It's because you're either not speaking your truth here or you're keeping quiet about something. Um, and this is because of something that's occurred in the past. This had to do with a partnership or it had to do with money. I do feel like you are really working hard to bring balance into your life. You start the month out without the balance though. And I do see there's something here you're very worried about in the first week of September. Something that's got you concerned, worried, you know, you're really thinking about it a lot. It's likely whatever you're not speaking on. And it could even be that you're trying to avoid an argument here with somebody. Um, I do see you moving forward from that though. If you've lost money, you will recover that money at the end of the first week, going into the second week, most likely the second week. I do see you recovering that. For some of you, you could be um, coming back together with somebody that you have known from the past. This person will be re-entering your life, but you'll find this to be good news. For a lot of you, though, this has to do with a recovery of finances lost, a recovery of, of money in some form, and you're, you're going to get really good news about that. So that's good. And it, it's really, you have this energy of moving away from loss, moving away from imbalance, whether it's in relationship or money or both. Um, in the middle of the month, I see you moving forward very slowly. It's after you've received good news or after you've communicated with somebody here from your past. Somebody that may have exited your life at some point is coming back into your life. And there will be communication. So for those of you that, you know, you're you're hoping for communication with somebody, you're going to get that around the middle of the month. I do see you moving forward very slowly. Some of you are reconciling with somebody from your past here. Um, this person will enter your life in the second week, and by the third week, I do see a reconciliation. You're going to want to take things slowly, though. For others of you, your money is beginning to improve, and in the third week, you're going to be very happy about that. There's going to be a celebration of some sort. Um, by the end of the month, however, by the end of the month, I see you kind of pulling back, not really taking action. Now, you could be dealing with a fire sign here. That would be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. I also have the sign of Cancer, and Leo is very prominent as well. Um, but I do see you kind of pulling back, not taking action because you're kind of holding on to something that has happened here, something that's happened in the past. Now, if it has to do with money, I do see you having some sort of an expense, a large expense towards the end of the month. Um, but it's going to be an expense that you're going to feel good about. It, it's like you're expending money on something, but you're excited about it. Okay, um, and you may have been previously thinking you weren't going to make that expenditure. You were holding off. Um, you were thinking about it, and then you decide to go for it. Okay, but you're going to be happy with the result uh, if you do spend the money on whatever this is. Now, with regard to relationship, again, I see you kind of pulling back, not taking action. You could be dealing with somebody, like I said, that is... Um, has re-entered your life, and this person could be a karmic, 
or this person could be someone that is just um their their energy's not good i how do i put this their energy is a little bit snide it's um it's like they have a meanness to them and you're going to be holding a grudge with this person i do see some of you kind of holding a grudge um for others of you i see you this person possibly a fire sign re-entering your life this is somebody you may have been holding on to this is somebody who you you know are kind of guarded with but you decide to let your guard down I feel like this is someone that you've been slowly moving back towards or they've been slowly moving towards you and you're letting your guard down just be very careful that their energy is what you're hoping um, for some of you, I see a one night stand, which is going to result in a pregnancy for others. So if you're not trying to get pregnant, please be very careful with that. Um, and it may not even be a one night stand. It could be a fling. You could have like a, a fling with this person and it results in a pregnancy. So if you don't want to become pregnant, you know, be sure to use protection. Um, for others of you though, that, you know, pregnancy is not really part of the picture. There's somebody that you've been holding on to, and I do see a new beginning. It's going to be very passionate. It looks very sexual, but it's it's something that is going to make you happy. So regardless, whether this is financial or whether this has to do with relationship, I do see you moving towards it, most likely in a very quick and sudden way, and I do see it bringing happiness. So because you have the sun here as your underlying energy and it's you have the sun coming back in at the end of the month as well and that's really good that's good energy so let's see your energy why is the queen of cups here and whatever this happiness is virgo it is associated with a very passionate beginning whether it's um, with a person or in some sort of endeavor. All right, we have the Two of Swords. We have the Devil, Sign of Capricorn. And we have the Two of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so with regard to love, you are at a crossroads, Virgo. Um, you feel deeply attracted or deeply um, attached to somebody. And this is somebody that you, they could live at a distance from you. And I do feel that you have to make a choice about this person. So you're hesitant to make a choice. You're very tempted by this person. And it's either a situation you love or a person that you love. But it puts you at a crossroads. You don't want to make a decision. And it looks like you don't want to make a decision because you, you don't want to make the wrong decision. But I do see you you know, finally choosing. You're, you, you're put in a situation where you're, you're going to have to make a choice here. Let's see the energy coming towards you because this does concern me a little bit. All right, we have the lovers in reverse, sign of Gemini. The emperor, Aries. And we have the death card in reverse. So the energy coming towards you is somebody that is taking action here. They're bossing up. This is somebody that there was an ending. And this was either a partnership of some sort. or, And for some of you, it definitely is. This could be a boss. So this, you could have been in, um, you could have a boss that's returning that's asking you to come back. Be careful because this person is... Um, they have jealous eyes. They are, they're not, they're not in the best energy at all times. There's like a jealousy or they're looking at you with envy of some sort. There was an ending here, either an ending of a partnership, an ending of a job situation, or an ending of a love connection. For most of you, it looks like it's a love connection. This person is bossing up. They're coming back. And it's because they they tried to end this, but they can't. There's a for some reason there's unfinished business between the two of you. At least that's how they feel. And I'm seeing it strongly because they're holding on to you. This person comes back into your life around the second week, 
and then I see some sort of a reunion with this person in the third week of, of September. So this is somebody that can't let go. And uh, I, it, it could even be a friend, it could be a family member, but I'm definitely seeing that this person has unfinished business with you. And I'm also seeing that there's been some sort of ending that they don't want. It looks like uh, neither of you were taking action on this for a while. But now this person's going to be the one who kind of takes charge of the situation. Now, Spirit is saying you need to look deeper into this. And also, there's an indication here that you have to balance out the light and the dark here. There has to be a balance. And you have to figure out how to bring that balance in. All right, we have the seven of coins reversed. There's that ten of coins. And then we have the tower. All right. So in Spirit's advice, you're being guided to, if this is investment-wise, because you've got a lot of coins here, you're being told to really balance out anything that has to do with investments. Just do your homework. Really study it. Because there could be a long-term investment that you're making that um, it's a bad investment. It could be a long-term investment that's not good, and it's going to lead to a tower moment. Now, with regard to partnership of any kind, family as well, sometimes the Ten of Coins can indicate family. Um, so, with regard to family, relationship, um, lovers even, you're also being asked to really look at this, making sure that you're not being impatient, making sure that you're putting in the proper investment, but that the other party is putting in the proper investment as well. Because if you're not doing your homework on this, if you're not, you know, balancing this out and really figuring out how to balance this out, it, it's going to lead to a tower moment. So there will be a sudden shift here and it will not be in a positive nature, at least not with that deck. So let's see... So do your homework, basically. All right, so in your outcome, we have the strength card in reverse. All right, five of wands, king of cups. Now you're showing up as a queen of cups, okay? So this has to do with somebody who is a perfect partner for you. All right, so there's fear though. There's fear here. This person is watching you. This person has been watching you for a while. For a lot of you, this has to do with love. But this person is actually a perfect pair. It does look like you may have dealt with a karmic in the past. Yeah, somebody that there was a lot of passion with, but this, this person was a karmic. Now, this person here is not a karmic. So, you're, you've got more than one person, the energy here. All right, there's a king of wands and there's a king of cups. There may have been a lot of passion with this karmic person, and that's who's approaching you that can't let go. There was an ending here. This person is returning, but in your outcome, you have the King of Cups, and this is a this is a different energy. It feels very different. This person um, that's coming back is it's going to create conflict with your your person, your ideal person. I do feel that there is a new beginning in love here. It is with the new person. It is not with this person from the past, but it's going to create conflict. And there's choices here. You have choices. So, yeah, this is the decision that you're, you're going to choose one and not choose another. I do feel like you're moving away from the person who was toxic I feel like you're moving towards somebody who's an ideal partner for you. This ideal partner has been, you know, they they love you. They've had their eye on you for a while. I do see that there's going to be very genuine love between the two of you. But that's the choice you're being. You're at the crossroads here. It's between someone from your past that's returning and this new person for most of you. And it's it's going to create some conflict. Yeah, it's almost like um, the conflict, you're having internal conflict because it's putting you at a crossroads.
but it's creating a conflict between this King of Cups and this King of Wands in the reverse. I'm going to tell you that this person who is returning from the past, they're, they're not very happy that you're with someone else. So I do feel like the new person fears that you may go towards the person from the past. But I don't see you doing that. Either way, you have this Ace of Cups coming in and you're going to be very happy. You have the sun coming in. You have a passionate new beginning that is full of love as well. And I do feel like it is with the new person for most of you. All right. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the judgment card. So you're having to make a judgment call here. And again, this is a return from, from this past person. So this past person's energy is very strong. They're holding on to you very tightly. But I think by the end of the month, you will have sorted it out. I don't feel that you're moving towards this past person as much as they do try. Yeah, I do see you moving towards someone new. All right, so let's um, let's see. Now, if this has to do with jobs, um, because we do have the emperor here, um, I do feel like you're going to be moving towards a new opportunity that you are going to really love. Because you may have lost your um, desire to be in the... Um, connection or job or situation that you were in previously. But it's nice to have choices, isn't it, Virgo? All right. All right, I was told to take the middle, so let's see what we got. Ah, look at that. You've got the sun again. That's the third time you have the sun. Interesting. Okay, so... And it's number 28, Virgo, so that indicates that there's an ending of a cycle here as well. Um, you're closing something out so you can begin something new. All right, so the sun has to do with, um, it says, growth in personal relationships, a newfound optimism and enthusiasm. So it says, the sun shines brilliantly on your whole life. You are feeling much more optimistic and enthusiastic about everything, and your life will be enriched through all of this positive energy. You will surely attract some wonderful experiences into your life. Your newfound confidence will see you leaving past struggles behind as you embrace the radiant successes that will surround you. Now, with regard to relationships, it says this is a wonderful period for emotional happiness around your whole family. If you're single... This card indicates the beginnings of a strong new relationship. Yep, right there. Um, existing relationships see positive growth and fertility is at an all-time high. See, be careful if you're not trying to get pregnant. Um, children may bring double happiness and the greatest joy into your world. With regard to career and finances, it says dynamic goal attraction will keep you busy and on your toes and difficult financial times will be put behind you as you start attracting opportunities for financial security and growth on the career front. Ambitions will be satisfied around wealth issues with lots of new options and opportunities. Beautiful. Yeah, that really does summarize your reading. So it looks like you're going to have a really fantastic September um, you know, don't, uh, <laughs> don't let this past person cloud any of that because you have a lot of happiness coming your way, Virgo. All right. I hope this has been helpful. If you have resonated with this, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I would be grateful until I see you guys in your weekly readings. Namaste.